Folks, my first guest tonight created and stars in HBO's Peabody Award winning show, Insecure. Please welcome back to the late show, Issa Rae. You, you so did? Sorry. That's okay. That's how I greet I, people out I, I, I went in. I went in for the air kiss, and you went in, and we were just a little vigorous about it. That's how we do, like animals yeah, in the wild. I have depth perception problems anyway. Okay, well, I'm glad I could help you. Well, nice to see you again, and <laughs> congratulations. Oh, this is your first Emmy nomination this it year, right? Congratulations. That's a nice feeling. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Plus, you already have you already have the Peabody, which is kind of the coolest of all the awards, is the Peabody. It definitely sounds cool. When yeah. I think about that, I think about, yeah, this is for the rockers. This is for the rappers. But I'm I'm excited. I'm so hyped to be able to have that award. No, have you do you enjoy award shows? No. No. <laughs> Why not? You don't like you don't like the tension or because the Emmys don't have a bar? What is it? That I think well they have a bar, right? I don't know. They don't. They don't have a bar? <laughs> the Emmys they didn't used to have a bar. I think I. Oh, uh, we uh, when, last we year we we made them have a bar when we were the host last year. Yeah. Somebody gave me shots. They gave Somebody me gave shots you shots on the red carpet, and I think that's why I thought that there was. a I bar. gotta stop by whatever news organization that is this year. <laughs> well, I, I usually like them, but it's just it's really uncomfortable socially, and you see, I get overwhelmed. I get starstruck like super easily. So. Like who? Like who? Who have you like run into recently? I know you were at the Met Gala. I was at the Met Gala. I was there. I saw you there. Yes, it was. Um, I, I ran into Rihanna, who I'd already met before, but I just saw her sitting at the table, and I had had a few drinks. The Met Gala, like they kept the wine uh, flowing, but they because they barely had food, you know, so you got really, you got really drunk fast, and so I was like, oh. Rihanna's over there. Let me go say hi. She knows me. We homegirls. So, <laughs> and I went up to her and I was like, you know, tapped her, and I was just. She was so friendly <laughs> and nice. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> and she was like, hey, girl, good to see you. And I was like, uh, oh, we're, and just excuse myself and walk away. Walk away. <laughs> So any chance that we had to be best friends, I ruined it with my drunken nervousness, star structures. Who were you behind when you went did the red carpet? Because that's critical. Because I was behind um, Scarlett Johansson, oh. and I don't recommend that. No, I don't recommend that either. Because they're so disappointed when I walked out there after <laughs> Scar Joe. So who? It's, it was two hours to wait in that line. It is. I was behind um, Kylie Jenner and Travis Scott, and. As soon as I walked out, I had to be like, hey, guys, photographers, please. You know, I'm wearing Michael Kors, and he'll be so mad if I don't get a picture in his design dress. And it was just, it was, it was a wrap for me. They were like, you could move on? They were like, please, please do move on, because we, well, we got you, enough. The one exciting thing happened, although it didn't actually happen, this <laughs> E! News, you know about this already. Of course, you responded to it. E! News uh, tweeted that... Issa Rae might have turned down Drake at the Golden Globes party. Okay, so this is a different award show, but you, you, so they're saying that Drake hit on you, that's and you was thing. like, no, I'm not having it. Yeah, that's just, I'm so glad my friends were there because they would have been like, bitch, what are you doing? <laughs> they, they were behind me when it happened, and what actually so happened. So it did happen. I did not turn him down. Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> No, we were walking, the, the Golden Globes were over, Insecure is on HBO, so I was headed to the HBO party, as I should, and mm -hmm. he was leaving the HBO party, and so we crossed paths, and he said the most magical words ever. What? He was like, I've been looking for you all night, and I was like, <laughs> suck on me. And uh, he was like, I'm about to go to this Netflix party, do you want to go? And I was like, oh, I have to go stop in the HBO party. Because they're the network that puts my show on. I couldn't just ditch the party and go to Netflix party, even though that's what I really wanted to do. <laughs> so I was like, I'll catch you at that party. And then we, that was it. Then I went to the party, and all of a sudden, blogs were reporting that I up. turned them down. Yeah. Which would never, come on. Well, it would never happen. Well, uh, you know, your, your show, Insecure, it's very personal. You use a lot of your own stories from your own life. Does your family ever see themselves in the show and get offended that that they're in your show. Um, offended? Yes. They're not in it. 
My mom is, you know, my, my, I have four siblings. We're a family of uh, seven. My mom is the only one that is, it, it's taken some getting used to. Well, like, what at has one upset point, her? Well, there's, you know, there's, there's sex scenes. Surprise, you know, happen. or HBO. It does, it does happen. That's how I got here, it was, which is what I want to tell her, but. <laughs> She, the fourth episode of our second season was a bit racy. Mm -hmm. And she texted me after and was like, you're basically making porn. I don't know <laughs> if this is HBO doing this or if this is you, but I can't watch this anymore. And I was like, mom, if you don't like this episode, you definitely shouldn't watch episode six. <laughs> and she was like, well, I won't. And I thought she was joking. I thought she was doing that thing that moms do, of just like, hmm, I'm making a fuss for my friends. And she so wasn't. So maybe it was just a show so her friends wouldn't think Yeah, her that... friends wouldn't think that she wasn't putting the hammer down on her sexually active daughter, but... And these are, these are, she, she, is she very traditional? You know, she's, she's religious. She, I couldn't watch like PG, I mean PG-13 and rated R movies until I was of appropriate age. And so now you're making up for a lost time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, uh -huh. yes, according to her. And... Um, so then we watched like the second to last episode at her house as a family uh -huh. and you know my brothers came over and she went upstairs she didn't watch it she was like I can't mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> and so I was genuinely hurt like wow you're really not gonna watch this show that I made and then just last month she caved and she was like okay I decided to watch all the episodes I love it it wasn't too much for me and now she likes the show oh, so nice. I did it that's nice because ultimately, it's all for mom. It's all, <laughs> it's all for mom. I do it all for it's mom. It's all for mom. That's all I want. Well, the, the season three of Insecure uh, it starts this Sunday? It starts this Sunday, 10.30. Well, what's what's the, the season about? Tell, give us some idea of the season. This season is about adulting. You know, it's about our characters learning how to know better and do better. Because they've made a lot of mistakes. They've made a lot of poor decisions, which may or may not be based on decisions I've made with my friends. <laughs> But there gets a point when you're in your, your, your 20s, people are like, oh, she's just in her 20s. You forgive her. But after a certain point, you just, you have to do better. And sure, you can't be a young person full of promise. You actually have to deliver on the promise at some point. That sounded so wise. I wish you were around. <laughs> in my life. I'm right here. I'm right here. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm here all the time, every night, five nights a week. I'm right here. I just call. It. Well, now I know. Thank just call. You. So what, what, is the, what is this clip we're about to see? Oh, this clip. So Issa's best friend, Molly, has just come back from vacation. And she's explaining, you know, how she just, I don't remember. Watch it. <laughs> I think this is this is the porn part. This is the yeah, porn. This is porn. We're gonna watch pornography. Okay, Jim. Just focus on getting this money so I can get up out of there. And you know, it's been two weeks already. You should have just stayed with me. Nah, girl. Remember that we got stayed with you back in 05? Just say you it broke my vase and we when could. I got there. Okay, excuse me, I don't need your side eyes. Run eye. I remember now, yes. exactly. Exactly, that exactly. scene right there? Yeah, that was And your friends have to recognize themselves, right? Oh, my friends totally do. Yeah. Do you, you're, you're, your character's name is Issa, and you're Issa. Does that ever get confusing? Because I played someone named Steven for a long time. <laughs> yes. Does it ever con confuse your fans in any way? It absolutely does. Um, you know, they, they um, attack me personally. Uh, via social no, media, really? you know, they, they call oh, don't go on things. social media. I try not to. I try to take breaks, but you know, it's it's hard. It's already hard for people to separate you from characters. But it's my fault. I should have never named the character after me. I just wasn't thinking. Mm -hmm. It's not too late to give your character a nickname. Like what? What do you recommend? <laughs> 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 Molly and Buddy. Um, I don't know if that'll work, but I'll, I'll, I'll consider it. Yeah, I think well, it is too late. Well, now now that you're you're an established, award-winning uh, uh, auteur in your own right. Do you do people come up asking for advice from you? They do. I, I really don't know what to tell them because everybody's journey is is different. But I'm always like, be yourself. I actually have a great group of women. I seek advice constantly. Who do you ask for advice from? Um, Other than me, obviously. No, yes. uh, you are first and foremost. When I can't reach you, which I never can, guys. Um, <laughs> People that I admire, like Shonda Rhimes, Ava DuVernay, Mara Brock Akil, Debbie Allen, 
they've all, because I'm, I'm very, I, I, I tend to be afraid of like upsetting people. And that will get you nowhere here, you know, especially when you're trying to create a show. And they really oh, like call as me, a showrunner. As a showrunner, yeah, sure. being, being in the industry, just as a woman, I'm a, once you're labeled like difficult, your, your, your career is kind of over because then it's like everybody's saying, oh, she's hard to work with, beware. And then, you know, you don't get many chances to fail. And so, so what's for me, the advice? The advice from them was don't be afraid to be a bitch. <laughs> and it's so true. Uh -huh. Words I live by. <laughs> Season three of Insecure premieres Sunday. Issa Rae, everybody.